It is 6.01. We are following breaking news out of Chile this morning. And while you were asleep, crews have been working nonstop to rescue the 33 trap miners. Of course, it is a dramatic scene. It is full of emotion and tears and one that is expected to last throughout the day. We've been monitoring this from our newsroom since that rescue operation began. Teddy, your son, David Calva joins us now. He's in the studio with the very latest, and you're keeping the count, right? That's right. We're at seven now. Seven miners have safely reached fresh air and freedom. Take a look at this behind me. This is a live picture from San Jose mine in Copiapio, Chile. One, of, one by one as the miners surface in a missile-like escape capsule, they're met by a triage unit who immediately assesses their medical condition. Now, the first of the miners, there he is, he emerged from the capsule wearing a grin and sunglasses, those of course to protect his eyes from the bright lights. Cheers erupted while the miner hugged his wife, his kids, and members of the rescue team. The relatives of other miners were also on site and they were overcome with emotion as they watched the re rescue. Now, it's not only folks in Chile who are watching the rescue, it's folks around the world. In fact, just north of us in D.C., onlookers gathered around the Chilean embassy to watch a live broadcast of the rescue. About 100 people watched into the early morning hours. The crowd started dancing and singing <laughs> as the miners started to emerge. Now, take a look. Here we go. This is live. Coming there up, is. number eight. Presumably, he's inside Aww. there. There he is, number eight. Coming Coming up live, wow. 6.02 Eastern Time, you're watching the miner come out of this capsule. How exciting is this? Is it about a 20 minute ride from the bottom of the mine up it, to the top? It, it varies. You know, initially it started out as a 20 minute ride descent down and about a 15 minute ride coming up. Now they've gotten it down to a science, so it seems to be a little bit shorter than that. They're mm -hmm. obviously getting some good practice with number eight. You're mm -hmm. watching live coming out of that capsule right now. And you, you know, if you're observant, and I know that uh, you have been, you can see there are two live cameras at the scene. One is the above ground camera that we're looking at right now. Now. And then there's another camera underground, and when you see the underground shots of the miners, I can't confirm that they're in their underpants, but they're not wearing a lot of clothing because it's 90 degrees 90 down degrees, there. Absolutely. Then on the surface, you look at how the rescuers are dressed. They're dressed for winter. Mm -hmm. You can see their breath. So it's much, much colder. So, so I mean, they freezing. really have to make quite a transition in just 15 minutes from the conditions they've become accustomed to in, you know, the last 69 days uh, to, you know, joining the world in progress in Absolutely. a much different season. So, you know, a lot of the miners coming out looking kind of thin, but obviously in, in, uh, in good spirits. And, you know, they have to be thin. That's 24 inches wide that they've got to be in that tube. It's a tight up. fit, yeah, but they clearly are prepared for it, making their way up. And it was funny, initially when they were coming up, there were, uh, you know, everyone was very skeptical about how their health condition was, so mm -hmm. they were very cautious when they approached them. Now, as you see, they're a little more certain. Um, and and the, the way it's going is it started out with those who were actually in best shape. And the reason is uh, those who were better suited for the travel could then warn the other ones what it was going to be like coming up. So now we're in that middle process, and these are the folks who, of course, have been dealing with some more health issues as they were down there. So they're uh, coming up, look at him hugging, clearly full of joy right there. How exciting. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, it kind of makes us make, make, reminds me of the scenes that we see here pier side all the time. Right. You know, when folks come back for a mm -hmm. homecoming after yeah. six months and are reunited. Of course, I mean, this is a, a different situation in many ways, but that, you know, being reunited after so long, it looks the same in any country, in any language. Absolutely. So. And the eyes of the world certainly on this scene right now in Copiapa, Chile. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of our producers was saying this is being compared to as the, the, the Neil Armstrong moon landing. So just as much oh, excitement man, going yeah. on. Yeah. All right, David Koffer, thank you very much, sir. All right, guys, thank you. All right.